And as you exhale, release your palms, zip your legs back together. Shift your weight onto the side, most comfortable for you. And then come into a tabletop position. Take a moment here to um, place the palms directly underneath your chest and then walk your knees towards the back of your mat. From here, bring your thighs, chest, and then finally rest your forehead on top of the earth. Place your palms directly underneath your forehead and then bring your forehead to rest on top of your palms here. From here, walk. We're gonna go into half frog. So walk your right knee so that it draws closer to your right elbow. Now it doesn't have to touch. Don't worry about having it touch, but just simply explore the degree which your right knee travels and then allow it to just settle into that space. Relax your forehead on top of your palms here. Draw your attention inward to your breath. As we know, our hips are often a place where we hold a great deal of our emotions, particularly feelings that we don't um, or may be hesitant to let shine or be seen. I invite you here to just take a moment to use your breath to send some positive light, love, and energy into this space. You may acknowledge some emotions arise here that maybe you didn't know you were feeling, know that that is okay also. Continue to use your inhales and exhales and send them into that right hip. Perhaps allow them to continue traveling throughout that right thigh, the quads, hamstrings, the calf, and even send your exhales out through the sole of your right foot. Take in two more deep cleansing breaths here at your own pace. ready, slowly begin to find the length throughout that right leg and return the right leg to meet the left. From here, float the palms just outside of the chest. Inhale to lift the heart off of the mat. Puff the chest towards the sky. And as you exhale, release back on top of the earth. Again, inhale to bring the heart space towards the sky. Feel the throat chakra open, draw the crown of the head down the spine. And as you exhale, return back on top of the earth. From here, bring your palms back to the front of the mat. And then float your left knee to your left 
elbow. Okay, or towards your left elbow here. Settling in for half frog on our left side. Continue to allow your forehead or third eye to rest on your palms or on top of the earth. And begin to settle in here. Taking an additional moment to just notice what continues to come up for you here. I invite you to trust that if nothing else, your breath is always here for you as a tool and guide to support you in understanding what you might be feeling, what you might be observing here in this moment. Take in three more deep cleansing breaths here. Restoring and revitalizing a space. We sometimes don't show enough love and attention to. On your next inhale, lift your gaze and then bring your left knee to meet your right. Once more, float your palms just outside of your chest. Inhale to lift your heart. Open through your throat chakra. Exhale to release back on top of the earth. Again, inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Last time here, inhale to rise. Float your thighs off of the earth. Walk your knees towards the edges of your mat. Lift, bring your heels, or bring your glutes to your heels. Melt your heart on top of the earth, lengthen through your arms. Rest your forehead on top of your mat. As you breathe here, I invite you to just take notes of what might feel different here than from when we once began. On your next inhale, lift your gaze. Rise into a tabletop position. Press your hips straight up towards the sky. And then walk to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Generously bend your knees here. Allow your body, your head to hang heavy. Draw the crown of the head down towards the earth. Use your palms here to frame your feet. If it feels good, continue here shaking your head, yes.
If anything feels uncomfortable, go ahead and shake your head no. Let go. And when ready, find a neutral position. Place your palms underneath the soles of your feet so that you're stepping on top of your palms. And then once here, allow the soles of the feet to press firmly into your palms and then use your palms to press firmly into the soles of the feet. Keep in mind here it is important, not how hard you can press into your palms as much as it is about just being aware of what does your body need, what degree does your body need in this moment. And then allowing your body to settle into that space. As you continue here, perhaps you may begin to feel the release of any tension lingering throughout your back, shoulders, and even the arms dissolving and melting away. One more breath here. And then on your next exhale, release your palms. Inhale to lift halfway. Find length from the base of your spine all the way through to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale to slowly curl up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale to float the arms alongside the ears. Draw the palms together, generously bend the knees. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale to lift halfway. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly curling up one vertebrae at a time. Sweep the arms wide. Draw your palms together. Exhale, bend the knees. Forward fold. Last time here. Inhale to lift. Halfway. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to slowly curl up. Lift your arms, stretch wide. Draw your palms together. Generously bend the knees. Exhale, forward fold. From here, plant your palms on top of the earth. Bend your knees. Step the right foot back into about a 45 degree angle. Root firmly through the soles of your feet. On your next inhale, bring your arms alongside your ears. Rise into your warrior one. From here, turn your back foot so that the back edge is Parallel to the edge of the mat. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Roll and relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Align your front knee with your front ankle. Gaze just over your front fingertips. Stand strong, stand firmly, embrace your warrior two. On your next inhale, find length through the front leg. Bring your right palm 
to the inside of your right foot. Rest your palm either on a block or a small stack of books here. Sweep your right fingertips so that they graze the sky. Option to stay here or bend the front knee. Walk your palm just outside of your front foot. Launch off of the right foot and rise into a half moon. Gaze is wherever most comfortable for you or at your right fingertips. But also keep in mind to draw your navel in towards your spine, flex the toes. And then on your next exhale, return back into your warrior two. From here, swing your right arm to meet your left. And then option to place your right foot at a 45 degree angle or swing the right heel off of the mat to come into your crescent lunge. Inhale to lift, puff the heart towards the sky. Inhale, feel the chest open and expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly towards the thigh. Sweep the fingertips down along the earth. Inhale to lift. Breathe in joy. And as you exhale, release dis-ease. Inhale in peace. And as you exhale, release tension. From here, plant your palms just outside of your front foot. Press into the ball of the right foot and step forward. Inhale to lift halfway, find length through your spine. Exhale to lower and release. Forward fold. Inhale to curl up. One vertebrae at a time. Swing your arms alongside your ears. And as you exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, bend your knees. Step the left foot back at about a 45 degree angle, setting up here for warrior one. From here, find your balance. And on your next inhale, inhale to lift into your warrior one. Exhale to turn your torso to the left, align the edge, the outer edge of your right foot or your left foot with the back edge of your mat. Gaze just over your front fingertips. Roll and relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Warrior two. Find length through the front leg. Exhale to bring your right palm to the inside of your left foot. And then swing your left fingertips so that they graze the clouds. Always an option to stay exactly where you are or generously bend the knees, walk the palm towards the front of your mat and then float your left foot off of the earth. Flex your toes. Find your balance by drawing your navel in towards your spine. And remember to breathe here. On your next exhale, return the sole of the left foot on top of the earth. Inhale to rise back into your warrior two. Swing your left arm to meet your right. Option to return back to your warrior one. 
or to lift the back heel off of the earth. From here again, inhale to rise, puff the heart towards the sky, feel the opening and expansion throughout the chest. And as you exhale, bring the belly towards the thigh, graze the fingertips along the earth, releasing anything that's serving you in this moment. On your next inhale, again, lift your arms alongside your ears. And as you exhale, bring your belly towards your thighs. Graze your fingertips along the earth. Last time here, inhale in. What does your body need in this moment? And as you exhale, consider what do you need to let go of? What do you need to release? Use your palms to frame the front foot. Press into the ball of the left foot. Step forward. If you need to shake it out, feel free to do so. Take any necessary organic movements here. Always know it's important to listen to your body. So do what feels good. When ready, find a neutral position. Inhale to lift halfway. Find length again through your spine. And as you exhale, forward, forward. Inhale to curl up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Plant your palms and then heel toe your feet so that your toes are pointing the edge of your mat. Sink your hips down towards the earth and come into your malasana or your knee squat. Draw your palms. To your heart center or just underneath your chin, wherever most comfortable for you. And simply take a moment here to just return your attention back to perhaps that intention that you set for today's practice. Consider how has this evolved? Has your intention perhaps become clearer? Maybe it's been discovered that there is something else you need in this moment. Just grant yourself permission to feel into that moment. Two more deep cleansing breaths here. And as you exhale, float your palms just outside of your hips and then bring your hips on top of the earth. From here, find length through your legs, or actually, <laughs> let me turn the face, guys. From here, draw the soles of your feet towards one another. Float your palms just outside of your hips. Find length through your spine. Allow the crown of the head to reach to the sky. Perhaps envision there's maybe a strand of pearls coming down from the sky. Finding length, straightening your spine one vertebrae at a time here. 
And then on your next exhale, release. Use your peace sign fingers to wrap them around your big toes. And then as you exhale, bring your heart space towards the soles of your feet. Use your breath here to breathe deeply into the inner thighs. Take in two more deep cleansing breaths here. And on your next inhale, unravel your fingers. Release your legs one at a time. Inhale to float your arms directly in front of your chest. And then lengthen on top of the earth. From here, draw your knees in towards your heart space. Gently massage your lower back. Circle your knees around in one direction. Then circle in the opposite direction here. Find a neutral position. Float the soles of the feet so that they're facing the sky. Always an option to stay exactly where you are or gently rock side to side, now providing a gentle massage throughout the middle back. If it feels good, go ahead and even grow your baby, finding length through your right leg. And then lengthen through your left. Release the soles of your feet, draw your knees in towards your chin, wrap your arms along your shins, curl in tight like a ball. And on your next exhale, release and find the length through your limbs, stretch your arms wide, lengthen through your legs. And I welcome you into your Shavasana. 